hey, why don't cars have built-in a built-in way to hold your phone? Okay, you gotta buy all these stupid peripherals. You gotta buy those prongs that like finger your vent, finger the AC vent, and then you can slap your phone on that. Or they have the even better, the suction cups. <laughs> Suction it to the window. I don't like that. They fall off. They're not gonna stay up there. Or they're the ones where they just set the set the weight. I don't care how they do it. There should have look. Yeah, I know. I know my car's old. Okay, my car is made in the early two thousands. So why would they need smartphone holders? Okay, but look, they had GPSs. Okay, all right. Those usually come with a little adapter. Fine. Uh, but they had PDAs, Palm Pilots, whatever, digital assistants, since the 90s. Didn't no one ever want to mount their PDA on the, on their car? Or, okay, maybe they didn't. Maybe that's not a good point. Maybe that's not a good point. But look, this car was made in like 2004. God. You, they, they didn't think that phones or like GPS is like things were going to like... They couldn't, no one foresaw a smartphone, really? Can we just have a drop of foresight, a drop? Just a drop, like, oh, the increasing miniaturization and consolidation, consolidation of uh, technology and gadgets. They're getting smaller, they're getting more portable, they're getting multifunctional, okay? Nobody could be like, man, maybe we should, uh, maybe we should put a USB port in this car. Maybe we shouldn't have to have them plug into a cigarette holder like it's 1979. May, uh, just a little bit of foresight, just a pinch, a pinch, man, crazy. But anyway, that's that's neither here nor there. What we're talking about today: Yucatan guacamole, authentic recipe, mild. They didn't have spicy, else I would have got it. So, uh, yeah. Oh, it's got a... Oh, that's cool. It's got a recipe for you. Roasted corn southwest guacamole. What? They used to have little recipes on them. No one cooks anymore. Everyone has food delivered straight to their mouth from various apps. Like a beached whale. Feed me, Seymour! Just lay there. A drone flies in through your window and scans your rectum and... <laughs> Force feed you soylent puree while you're plugged into the VR. So in the VR experience, it's a tentacle monster that's probing you and injecting nutrients into you, not a horrific, uh, one of those horrific drones from the Matrix, those squid sentinel things. That's what it actually is. But it's in in the in the VR headset that you're legally ob obliged to wear for twelve hours a day. In that headset, it's a an big titty anthropomorphic octopus lady that's injecting your uh, vitamin supplements. So hey, that's the future uh, that I can get behind. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm too lazy, man. Guacamole is not hard to make. You make really decent guacamole. Really simple. Simple ingredients. Cut it up, blend it up. Bada boom. I just wasn't... I wasn't feeling it today. I didn't want to put in the effort, which says more about me than anything else. So, uh... My friends love it when I talk and eat. I have to say... These lime flavored chips, though, I mean, you can just eat them on their own, they're so good. Enough flavor to them. But that little pinch of lime with the guacamole makes it just right. Okay, the guacamole is good. Not the best guacamole I've had. I give it a 69 out of 100. Now we're doing a double, triple whammy feature. I got, I was fiddle farting around with my inkjet printer 
and I got some ink on my hands, and then I, yeah, I was doing one of these, like, ah, because I couldn't get it to work. Downloading the drivers was like, just this big mess. Whole thing. So doing a couple of these. Ah. Oh, life's so stressful. Ah. I got some ink on my beautiful virginal forehead. It's been soiled. So anyway, the next thing we got, Chipotle bitchin' sauce. Bitchin' and saucy. Dip, spread, or smother. Three of my favorite things. Your favorite savory food. And then it's got some minor, some unknown minor. We don't know who he is or why he's there, but there he is. I wish he tells his name. But he says, mmm, bitchin'. Personally, I wouldn't allow my child to use such foul language. But it's 2016. What are you going to do? Progress. Checkmate conservatives. So, yeah, like, what is this chipotle sauce? I looked, and it's like an almond-based. Almonds are the first. Those tree nuts. Trees have nuts. Remember that. So it's like an almond base, which makes me feel like it's going to be kind of like a uh, hummus. Hummus. Hummus among us. Because hummus is like, what, chickpeas or whatever? I can't hummus out anything. Why did hummus, I don't remember hummus being a thing until like a few years ago here. Was I just oblivious? Also curry, I didn't know what curry was until I was like 20. They're just like, oh yeah, this curry. And I'm like, what's that? And they're like, you don't know what curry is? I'm like, no. Do I look like I'm from Sri Lanka or something? Anyway, curry's great. It's the best food there is. And I just have been going my whole life without it. We eat white people food, which is like shepherd's pie. Whole, oh, oh. don't do it. Yeah, that's Chipotle. It's a bit. I was going to say it's a little bit thin, but it's really fine. It's just not as thick as that guacamole by comparison. You know? So it's really not watery. I mean, it tastes just like what it is. You can taste the almondy flavor. And the Chipotle. Am I saying that like Chipotle? Chipotle. Um... And then there's the lime, of course, kicking in with the... Man, lime just goes with everything, doesn't it? Lime and chocolate ice cream. Yeah, I love it. It's good. I keep eating it. Hmm. I give that... Eight neck cracks out of... 10 embolism induced strokes. And somebody stop me. I got pine nuts hummus. Pine nuts. Pine nuts are one of those things you can't eat a lot of. They're really rich. Like shrimp. Perishable, keep refrigerated. And this is the kind you have to mix it together. I don't have, I'll tell you, you no, know it's good. You got to put in some work yourself. This is a market side brand. Never heard of them. All this plastic packaging. I don't even feel bad about throwing away, like producing and throw. I mean, I'm not producing it. They just, if they, if they, I didn't look, I didn't produce this plastic. If it wasn't shipped in this plastic, if it was shipped in something else, I'd buy it. That's all I'm saying. I don't feel bad about throwing it away. I don't feel bad about putting it in the ocean. You know why? Because the tidal forces grind it all up into a fine powder. And that fine powder makes its way up the food chain right back to me. So, sure, you can blame me for soiling the environment, but I'm eating it. So that's karma, right? Like, it's just, you get what you pay for kind of deal, you know? It all comes back around. Everything comes, everything comes, everything comes. I usually have a spoon back here from an old MRE, but I remember using it, so maybe I threw it away. I need something to stir this with. God, here, what is this? Oh, yeah, look at the team packs. I used to have a girlfriend, and I had this in here for uh, an emergency. But now I'm single! Ain't no lady gonna be using this.
This is our stir stick, my lads. Boy, I hope the I hope the ink they used in this Tampax uh, packaging isn't toxic. Boy, boy, I sure hope the bleach they used to to get the wood fibers into a more palatable, less natural, uh, sterile white color. Because if this was brown, heaven forbid, heaven forbid, we have anything that's not completely screen printed over. Like heaven forbid, any of our packages has a natural brown color. It's all gonna have a glossy shine finish. How much ink must they waste on stupid packaging? Like, you'd have the whole box of anything, anything, your cereal, anything. The whole box could just be untreated cardboard, maybe with a wax coating for waterproofness. And then you could have the little label printed on there. But no! Bright colors! Everyone's autistic! We have to have bright colors stimuli on everything, so we buy it! Are you gonna buy the brown box when there's a super saturated, multi colorful psychedelic box next to it? Think about it. Which one would you choose? Mm. Remember, when you're making videos or anything's ever recorded, always have a long, narrow shaft of some kind. You always want to get a shot like that. That's the kind of shot people want to see. Um, I am tasting the cardboard from the inside of this. You want the hot dog sensor. That's what you want. It's the big block that sensors your hot dog while you're eating it. Senses it in real time. Okay, here we go. Here we go. There's a guy in black Audi watching me. He doesn't realize I have an entire audience of four people watching this video I'm making. He doesn't know that I have my phone tied up to my steering wheel with a plastic bag that's the only way i could mount it because automakers pre-2007 had not a drop of foresight at all or a drop of foreskin at all either if we had jews designing it they have high iqs that's a statistic you can't get mad at that what is it ashkenazi what's the word it was jews it was jews the highest IQs of any demographic. And it's no wonder. Have you tried to read the Torah? <laughs> he's, he's talking about Jews again! <laughs> it always goes back. Somehow it always goes back. Um, I don't love this. Mm, mm -mm. Don't love it. It's not very pine nutty. Which is crazy, because it's made of pine nuts. As far as hummus goes, I feel the flavor. It's not super strong. Um, I don't know. It's just very mid. I do like the texture of the pine nuts mixed in. Wait a minute. Is the whole thing ground pine nuts, or is it just the pine nuts added to the top? Ah, hmm. I was bamboozled. Bamboozled. A number's calling me, and the last four digits are 1984. Oh, 1894. Whew. That was almost spooky. Whoa, Big Brother's calling. Big Brother's calling. He wants to know what you did to his Wii. It's chickpeas. It's still chickpeas. So, it, okay, it's a chickpeas hummus, and it had pine nuts on top of it, and, uh, but it doesn't taste really pine nutty. Um, it's fine. It'll, it's passable. But again, the chips with that punch of lime really elevate it. So really, the winner today Sand Titties. That's the winner. There she is. With a come one. She's got a whole bag of Akba, a whole basket right there. I just need to find a I need to find a piece of mail I can hold up and can DOS myself. Dox. DOS myself. Command prompt. Computer. What a terrible review of it. I just wow. It's no wonder. You know? That's it. Okay. Love you, my little tender lads. Goodbye.